Good afternoon. I'm Captain Reggie Rader with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Today we are here to discuss a violent trend we are seeing in Las Vegas with parties being held at illegal short-term rentals. These parties are occurring at properties operating as Airbnbs, VRBOs, short-term rental sites, or other homes that are being used illegally for parties or large gatherings. Short-term rentals are illegal in Clark County and in the city of Las Vegas without a permit held by the property owner. Homeowners face hefty fines for each day the home is rented illegally, which is enforced by code enforcement. Those of you who own these properties or those of you promoting parties at these properties, be warned. Airbnb, VRBOs, short-term rental sites, or other homes that are being used illegally for parties or large gatherings are illegal in Clark County and in the city of Las Vegas. In just the past several months, there have been 15 shootings and three murders at these types of properties in Las Vegas. The last two murders were within the last 14 days at two separate home parties. On Saturday in the early morning at the 5700 block of Ruby Creek, a star football player at a Southern California college lost his life as a result of a shooting. Our investigation revealed he was an innocent bystander who got caught in the crossfire. A second victim who was shot at this party self-transported to DUMC, and fortunately, he was released and is doing okay. We would ask anybody with information on this homicide to contact Crime Stoppers. There is reward money available, and you can remain anonymous if you choose to do so. Last week, officers responded to a house party in the 4800 block of West Richmore Avenue and located a victim suffering from multiple stab wounds. This victim later died at a hospital. Both of these incidents occurred at events organized by unlicensed party promoters. Both of these promoters implemented cover charges and served alcohol outside of licensed venues, which is also illegal. We suspect that with COVID-19 shutting down traditional clubs and bars, a lot of young people are looking for alternative places to party. We're here to tell you this is not a good idea, the reasons I've just mentioned. Not only are these unlicensed gatherings problematic because there is no security on scene, it is also currently against the governor's directive to have gatherings of over 50 people and to operate a nightclub or a bar. It is time that our community unites to combat the violence taking place at these large gatherings. LVMPD will be conducting aggressive enforcement against the organizers and promoters of these unlicensed events. In addition, owners of short-term rental properties where some of these events take place will be held accountable. Owners may face hefty fines or liens on their property for each day their home is rented unlawfully. NRS 202.595 allows LVMPD to take enforcement action against unlicensed promoters who disregard the safety of the public by organizing large-scale events. Promoters and organizers of these parties may face gross misdemeanor or felony charges under this statute. We are asking the community's help in reporting these large unlicensed events in order to avoid additional tragedies. Because of events like these, two people lost their lives and the lives of their families will be changed forever. As for the organizers and promoters of these events, be warned you will be held accountable for disregarding the safety of our community. Thank you. Are there any questions? Do you have like any description of the suspect who like, threw that shooting from the shooting in the town? The, the last shooting that occurred on Saturday in the east part of the valley, uh, the description is two young black male adults. And in the other one, the, the stabbing, fortunately, that suspect has been arrested. The, the event that occurred in the east part of the valley on Saturday, there was 100 people there. The event that occurred on the west part of the valley, there was over 250 people there. So we're talking large scale parties and, and we're not asking you to call in your neighbors if they're having a child's birthday. Uh, we're talking about large scale gatherings. And what I would ask for the public is if you do see these parties starting to take uh, form, 
lots of cars blocking all the streets, a lot of people inside a residential uh, house to call 311 so we can set up a disturbance call and get officers out there to investigate. Yes, alcohol seems to be a common theme with all of these parties, alcohol being served. We're also seeing where they're charging admission at the door, which I mentioned was illegal, and there has been some narcotics use as well. What is it specifically that is causing some of these large gatherings that are happening and, and where it develops and escalates to these uh, heinous crimes such as, you know, attempted murder and murder and things like that? Anytime you get a lot of people confined into a small place. Now remember, we're talking about single family residences and sometimes they'll, they'll advertise on social media that these are mansion parties. We're not talking about huge big mansions. A lot of times we're talking about single family residences in neighborhoods where you and I live and they'll cram 100, 200 people in these uh, locations. And what's unique about that is in a club or a bar setting, there's safeguards in place where there's security, there's, uh, there's cameras, there's uh, uh, maximum occupancy levels that are enforced at those locations. So when you kind of have a free-for-all or you have promoters looking to make a little bit of money and exploiting this, uh, these short-term rentals, it allows for a lot of people to get into place. You mix alcohol in there and it's just kind of a recipe for disaster. So again, we would really ask the community, if you see these events forming, please contact us so we can investigate and we can get these parties broken up before any violence occurs. I think we're seeing more of these uh, because young people are looking for stuff to do. And I would want to remind everybody out there that every one of us have been affected by this COVID pandemic. Every one of us have had to put our lives on hold. And, and we're at the point now where our children aren't even going back to school right away. So I guess my plea would be to the young individuals out there looking for something to do. Uh, be adults, be civic minded. and look for other ways to engage in something productive because when you do go to these parties this latest individual it's, it's very tragic you uh, had a promising career as a sports star and and now that's ended presumably because he decided to go to a party that was illegally held so I, I do believe that's kind of what's fueling this and I would ask that the parents get extremely involved even if you have young adult children and, and the young adults out there. I, I get that it's tough and there's not much to do, but you have to find some kind of creative outlet to not put others in danger and not put yourself at danger. Can we get the spelling of your name, Captain Rader, again? Yes, it's Rader, R-A-D-E-R. And, and are you, uh, your area command is uh, one of the ones that had this occurring? It is, I'm currently the area command captain for the Southeast Area Command where the shooting occurred on Saturday. Okay. I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming out here and relaying our message. Please continue to be safe and have a good night.